again, folks, not going to sugarcoat it. There's not much good news when it comes to COVID in Cobb or COVID in Georgia or even the United States. So let's let Dr. Janet Meemark explain it all. She's the director of Cobb and Douglas Public Health. We continue to have a steady increase in the number of cases that we're seeing. And so, uh, you know, that we drop below uh, 100 ever so briefly um, for about 12 hours. And now um, it's just been a steady increase over the last few weeks. So we're at 235 cases per 100,000. That's not including the antigens. And so we have some pretty substantial uh, community transmission right now. We have 487 deaths. Um, our hospitalizations, we have critically low critical care beds at this point. So probably one available in the county. And then um, there are, are um, low medical surgical bed. So remember previously I had said that um, we were, um, the hospitals were busy and they weren't all COVID patients. Well, we're seeing more and more COVID patients that are being admitted. And so it's definitely been at least 20% over the last week or two that we've seen an increase. Well, if there's any breaking news this week, you've probably heard the recommendation from the CDC that maybe this Thanksgiving you should not travel anywhere. Dr. Meemark says that looks like a good idea. We've been talking about it each week, so hopefully um, people have put their plans in place. And so um, there are several different um, guidelines to take a look at from the CDC, but we do fall into one of those um, that says if you have a yes here, then don't travel. So we have an increasing number of cases and we had already a high rate of cases and that continues to increase. And so um, we're on that kind of do not travel list for the CDC. And so I'm just reminding everybody that, you know, if you have people that are medically fragile or they're coming from areas that have very high rates like us, that, you know, you're definitely risking having exposure or exposing others to COVID at this time. So what's going on with COVID? Why are we heading to that second peak uh, this fall and early winter? Well, Dr. Meemark says it's surging all over the place in Georgia is one of 46 states that's heading in the wrong direction. But you know, the, there's a surge throughout the nation right now. And when I read this morning, there were only three states that were not experiencing a surge. So we were definitely part of that. Um, what we're seeing though is, you know, just community transmission. It's not as much the, the um, big groups that are gathering, but we're seeing a lot of small groups. And so definitely things like dinner parties and sleepovers and, you know, athletic groups, parties, birthday parties, weddings, all of these things and you know with the decreased number of masks that are used and the the increase in gatherings we're just seeing it's just a perfect milieu for, for cases to continue to travel widely a lot of folks are also worried about what's going on in schools there's been an increasing number of cases reported in the schools and dr Meemark says for the parents it's time to make another critical choice. You know, the schools, I always say that, um, you know, it's an individual choice for schools. Look at your families. I know right now the portal has reopened to make the next choice for the next semester. Um, everybody needs to look at their own school situation as well as their own family situation. So cases are definitely going up and you will continue to see um, in schools being disrupted by this. Now they've been doing a pretty good job of taking the kids out and the ones that are um, positive or staff members and then isolating them and quarantining that ring around them. But as cases go up, we will see more and more of that activity. So if you have um, children or staff members that have chronic medical conditions, I definitely would talk to your doctor about whether it's safe to be back in that environment. Um, and you know, speak to your school if you're concerned about that because you potentially can um, uh, make some other decisions as well. All right, it's not entirely all gloom and doom during this edition of COVID in Cobb. We've got some good news on the vaccine front. Two of them look very promising. Two of them could be in Cobb County before the end of the year, but maybe much longer than that before you and I get a shot. So we've heard some really good news this week on both of the vaccines that are being worked on right now. So both the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines are shown to be over 95% effective, and that is great news. So 95% of the people that got the vaccine did not catch COVID-19. So we're really excited about that news. Um, and people are asking about timelines. So we are working really hard with all of our community partners to get those vaccines out as soon as they come out. So I wanna warn everybody, we've been receiving a lot of calls about this. So the first batches of vaccines will be small batches. So we have to target our highest, highest risk and exposure population. So that will begin with our healthcare workers and our frontline staff. So we will get those vaccines during, um, through the end of December. 
and it's not going to be that much. Now, when you will see that throughout all of this, um, over the next few months, we'll see more and more vaccines come out. The first tier that is going to get the vaccines will be what we had mentioned, the healthcare workers and first responders. We also have nursing home residents as well as um, the staff members. And then you have your elderly with chronic medical conditions that are put in there and then your essential workers. That's the whole first tier and it's a lot of folks. So that will roll out over the next few months. We anticipate probably around the springtime that the vaccine will be available to the general population. It won't just be at the health department. We have several like dozens of providers have signed up to be vaccine providers. So you, we should have some good penetration throughout our community for a COVID-19 vaccine. So if you're curious about the status of the vaccines, when they may be in Cobb, who may be getting the shots, you can check Cobb and DouglasPublicHealth.org. They vow to put all that information up there. Yeah, general questions about the vaccine, when it'll be available, questions. So we've, um, we're um, updating our website as well to have a bunch of answers and questions as well so that you can get some general information. And we'll put all of that on the website first. So that's where um, most of your information will come from. All right, so once again, as Thanksgiving is coming next week, Week. This may be, according to Dr. Me Mark, a make or break time for many of us. That time, as we start to surge in COVID cases before the vaccines get here, that a lot of us could get sick unless we take some action. So this is a very important time. We are having cases that in many parts of the nation are rivaling the, the two surges that we had previously. We are definitely on the way up. At this point, we have some very substantial transmission that's happening in our community. We have a vaccine that's coming, but it's not here yet. And so these are very, very dangerous times for us. The weather is gonna get colder, we're moving inside, and there's increased travel. So we know what works, right? But I'm gonna even go a step further this time, on top of wearing your mask and washing your hands and social distancing, really we should try our best not to go out and do too many things that are non-essential at this point. So it, you know, try to limit your exposures if you can. So, you know, going to, you know, out to eat in crowded places or going to bars or going to parties or weddings and, you know, please think about that twice. That is where we are having the transmission. And please do not go to work or send your children to school sick. That is happening way too often and it is going to be a major problem for everybody. So do not send people to school or to work sick. Please stay at home during this time. Transmission is quite high.